Next one is from. Next one is from. Uh, JC. JC. Love the videos. Thank you so much. Um, so my question is, how can I get threads into a pot from McMaster uh, car? So this one I think was kind of interesting. I wanted to share this one. Uh, I have a couple of images. So we have this from JC. What is some mail threads on some parts that could be downloaded from McMaster, right? But now I want to uh, now I want to get that thread into maybe some other parts that don't have thread. So you can see that in here. Um, so there's some cool, neat tricks you could do that. One way to do this. Let's open up a new uh, <clears throat> a new document here. Um, so we can go to McMaster, insert, go to the McMaster here, and of course you can search things in here. And I was kind of picturing if we search something like a pipe metal pipe thread in here. There's some looks like there's some threads on these models. Span that out a little bit. Let's go down and find something. A three eighths pipe. Select something that is six inches long. If you click on this product detail, then you can go down here and you can save it out as a step file. Hit save. And it's just going to take a second. And there it is. So there is, is this file here from, uh, from McMaster. Now, it's important... And this is actually pipe fret, so somebody's going to yell at me now and say, "When is, when is uh, the pipe fret coming inside of inside of Fusion?" Um, so, so this one already have pipe fret in it. Now, let's have some fun with this and uh, and kind of like say, "What if we had a we model up a cap, and we wanted that fret inside of it?" So, if I go up here, and um, let's open up a sketch on the side here. I'll show you something neat. Hit C for circle, and uh, I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm just going to steal the edge of the inner side here, right there. And uh, then I'm also going to draw a circle, Z for circle, and just do an outside kind of size for the cap here. Let's make it, let's make it 25. It's a big cap. Now, here's a neat thing. You see how we, sorry, the purple line circle in here is the inside of the threaded hull, but the outside here is um is, is the outside cap did you know that if i go ahead and hit press pull so press q that if we select this area here now if i do this you will see that it kind of starts cutting from that spot but did you know that you can actually choose a start profile over here next offset that start profile so if i for example went out i don't know 50 millimeters uh here then it's not starting this area until here. Now I'm going to make it a new body instead. So now we kind of have that starting right there, but it's still a little bit too far. So let's go, let's try, where is 75? 70, getting closer. 65, that's probably good right there, right? So you can see how we kind of have have that going for us right there, like that. Draw that back there, so you can see that's a nice little nice little cap right there. So I'm just gonna I know people's gonna yell at me. Let's put it right there. Hit OK. Now I made that as a new body, so that has its own body. So there is our first body. Here's our our second body here, we could actually turn it into, into a component. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish it up by go ahead here and select this face here. And I'm going to hit P, select this edge, Q, and select here. And just give it, it's going to be a closed cap, right? So now it's a closed cap. But if I hide this body, we will see that there's nothing in here. Let me just go ahead here right now and make that a body component. So we have the two different components. Here's our cap. And then here's the here's the rod. But there's interference between the two. The cap don't have 
any thread in it. Now what you can do is you can use the combine to do this, but it's a little weird, but you can. <laughs> if we click on that and we will select our target body, what's going to be our cap, and then our tool body is going to be the, 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 the imported McMaster. And if we do a cut, it will actually cut with that. Now, if I just hit OK right now, we we'll actually lose our McMaster. But if you check this key tools like this, then you get to keep it. And now if we hide it, you will see we got that thread right in there. How about that? So we just literally made that cab. Um, and we got that um, we got that that thread in there. Now I'm saying that, and 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 then it's quickly that I I quickly gotta put in my um, disclaimer kind of thing that this this is my and nobody else's opinions. Now it's important to know that that thread that we just created um, is an exact copy of the male thread, right? We had the male thread on the McMaster, the screw part. And now we just made the cap, but the cap has no clearance in it. Uh, normally when you're doing threads, something like the machinery handbook that I brought down from my shelf up there before in some of these videos, you need something like that to get the appropriate clearances in there. Um, so what I would suggest doing would probably be to either, depending on what you're trying to make here. Now this is all steel supposed to be steel so you would actually have a tab you wouldn't be using the model thread directly but i guess what i'm getting at is that normally when you're doing something like threads there's clearances in there there's thread specs so use something like the machinery handbook will, will help you with that i hope this was useful